Hi, I'm Leah Hill, also known as Handwriting Stylings on Instagram, and today I will be answering questions from Iguana Cell. I started in junior high and high school using fountain pens um, as part of my general pen obsession. Um, I love trying different kinds of pens, having different writing experiences. If there's a pen I like, I want it in every color. Um, and even from that far back, the fountain pens were part of what I was using. As I got into bullet journaling, I got back into the pens because I wanted a really nice pen to bullet journal with. Here is my ink collection or part of it, I found that with pens and ink, financing them is one part of the equation, but finding a way to store them is another part. I love variety. I like a variety of nibs. I like a variety of inks. I like a variety of the way the pen feels and looks. Um, a lot of times the perfect pen for that day would depend on my mood or the season. Um, but yeah, variety, variety is a big deal for me. One of my favorites is the Estabrook. I especially like their Esty model and I like the oversized ones because I like nothing better than a big fat pen. Um, you might notice there's a couple of blank spots that are reserved for maybe a couple of purchases when I go to the DC Pen Show next week. Another brand that I'm very fond of is the Opus 88. I especially love their large ink capacity and the eyedropper system that they use in their pens. Another brand that I'm especially fond of are the Bennu pens. I love the really creative ways that they use color in their designs and I'm always up for a good sparkle. A few months ago, I created my dream pen for my 60th birthday with the help of Tim Crow from Turnt Pen Company. I sent him a picture that showed some of my favorite colors and he created a custom blank called Secura to go with that. And then he even created the pen of my dreams. I wanted a fat cigar pen and I was able to find a Leonardo Flex nib to put in it. I, I love the idea with bespoke pens of having creative license to pick the colors and the designs and the nibs and the style of pen that you really like the most. Well, fountain pens themselves, I really like the creative control of being able to choose your writing experience, your ink, um, and the way your pen looks and feels. Um, for the community, I really enjoyed having that as I got into fountain pens right around the time of the pandemic. Um, I started with the group on Reddit, and even though I have heard Reddit users can be rather snippy and ugly, they were always extremely kind and very helpful as I was getting started in this obsession. And then, um, I moved on to Instagram and decided that I would be very surprised and excited if I had a hundred strangers to respond to and follow me on Instagram. And I am shocked and amazed to say that just earlier this week, I passed 2000 followers on Instagram. So there's a lot of weirdos out there like me. Thank you, Iguana Cell, for asking me to do this interview, even though it was very far out of my comfort zone and all my cats and dogs decided they needed to make some form of a cameo during the filming of this interview. Thank you.